Jeremiah Masoli. He's not supposed to be the starter at the beginning of the season, but a lot of things weren't supposed to be in Hamilton, including an 0-8 start. But I'll tell you what, Jeremiah Masoli, that record since he's come aboard has been pretty impressive. <laughs> Holidays. Masoli avoids a sack this time. Positive yardage. Weak side tonight, Brandon Dozier. We've seen a lot of time at safety moves up to the nickel spot. Second and nine for Masoli. Floats it out to the near side for Luke Tasker, who's close to 100 catches on the season. Knocks over our camera person down there. That looks like it's our man Shifty coming off the figure skating beat. You don't see this stuff in skating, Shifty. There we go. Luke Tasker in high definition. Tanya Harding begs to differ. No, that, you, might, you might be right. Second down and 10, talked about Tasker earlier. Now 98 catches on the season. Andy Fantuz's record, 101 set last year. Tasker could get there tonight. And over the top for Brandon Banks. A breakout half season for Brandon Banks continues, does it not? Well, so many people had Brandon Banks labeled as a, a returner and kind of a package player on offense in this league, but he's proven that within this system, he can be a go-to receiver, an absolutely torrid pace. The back half of the season, as we mentioned off the top, five consecutive games of over 100 receiving yards for offensive linemen and most outstanding Canadian for the Cats this year. Soli has time now, now has to run. Gives it off to Chamber. Offensive lineman and most outstanding Canadian for the Cats this year. Soli. Has time now. Now has to run. Gives it off to Chambers. Tell you one thing, Matt. These players love June Jones. As a coach, something's happened since they he came aboard. He's got a real calm sense to him, doesn't he? Yeah, he certainly does. And and you've seen the players respond to that. I think at a time. Should say when, all of them, but most of them. Yeah, that that seems to be the the case with this team. Swinging it out to Brandon Banks. Here's somebody who loves June Jones. Catch up to you. But for these teams, obviously there's a little more urgency, a little more desperation to take those strides. Soli standing in, good protection. Heels one into Tasker who fumbled the football. And Harris A. Bear is saying it was incomplete. I think the call on the field is a completed pass and a fumble and Hamilton recovered. Jalen Saunders was there. And this would be Tasker's second catch of the night. The ruling on the field is we have a catch, a fumble, recovered by Hamilton. It's first down. Saunders picks it up. And in that slow motion look, it looks like he's secured it, turned, taken a step. Before it pops out. First and goal. From about the three and a half. Masoli wants to throw. He does. And he blinks it off the crossbar. Uh, looked like Shamad Chambers was wide open in the back of the end zone. That's where Jeremiah Masoli is looking. See Chambers come into the picture with nobody anywhere near him. Yeah, that would have been Shamad Chambers' first TD catch. An easy one as a tie cat. Not to be. So after that bar up, second and goal. Soli and an easy one for Tasker. Touchdown, Hamilton. Now 100 catches on the season. First time for Luke Tasker in his CFL career and one away from tying Andy Fantuz last year with 101 and a tie cat record. Now 100 catches to go with his 1,000-yard season. Jeremiah Masoli's 15th touchdown toss of the season. Luke Tasker with his seventh touchdown. They look at the tablet here, and this is what they see. 
Yeah, and keep an eye on the right side of your screen. You can see Tasker's shadow. He makes that break out, recognizing coverage. He's not going to continue and make it a farther throw. He's just going to sit it down. He's in space. A little bit of a pick, perhaps, from the goal post. He and Riker Matthews seem to have shored up those tackle positions, which were an area of concern to start the year. A couple of great cup rings as well on that journey. John Bowman chasing down Masoli. Throws it and throws a strike to Shamad Chambers. Hey, hey, second down, third down. Hey, hey. Pushed out by Michael Carter on the near sideline. It's going to be third down and four. Looks like the Cats are going to bring out their kick team. They don't get to that first down marker. Michigan Wolverine, Kenny Allen. To Time up. Hamilton. Angle this kick. Hamilton forced to take a timeout here. Maybe they are bringing up the team. They are. Taking off Allen. And they're going to bring their offense back out on the field. Well, I guess maybe why not? Last game of the regular season. And nothing to lose, looking to build some momentum. Maybe June Jones just having a little bit of a hunch. See if this works out. They decide to kick it onside. Dozier gets back on. Where there was a job, you could land, but you got to hit those field goals. Still nine zip, and now Luke Tasker has tied Andy Fantus for the Hamilton Tiger Cats single season receiving record of a 101 catches. Next one, it's a new mark. Big final couple of weeks for Luke Tasker. There's Andy. Yeah, Andy may go down, go out there and knock down the next one. Keep his name in the books. Shut down for the last week of this season. Brandon Banks will want to cut back and then. We need it. And those guys got lots of it. Those two guys got lots of it. Milton Jock and Rod will see you at halftime. Masoli winging it out far side for Brandon Banks. Moving closer to a 1,000 yard season. And if you would have said that, a month and a in. half, eight <laughs> games in, prorate that. Had he been playing like that over the last nine games. Well, and to me, one of the things that makes it most remarkable is the way that the, the game, the way sports in general have trended so much towards size. You know, when we talk about Things like catch radius and so on, length, reach, etc. In talking about receivers, goes Masoli for the first down. And Banks is not exactly the prototype of what most teams look for in terms of physical dimensions in the year 2017, but obviously proving he can still be a real impact guy. Had only eight catches for 52 yards before June Jones took over. 52 yards since that time is at almost 950 yards. Uh, he's probably had three or four plays this year of more than 52 probably. yards. Probably. Certainly since in this time. time. Ten yards away from 1,000. There's Jalen Saunders. Preseason mode, buddy. Final minute for Masoli. Green with his first reception tonight. In terms of that playoff position. Soli, again, good protection. Nice toss. 38 seconds to go. Saunders. Wouldn't you agree right now, though, it might have been a little bit different about a month and a half ago? Anybody, any one of the six teams remaining has a really good chance of winning the Great Cup. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that. 
At times, Calgary has looked invincible, but to see them lose to a couple of, of West Division opponents, I'm not sure it necessarily creates doubt in Calgary's minds, but it certainly creates belief in the minds of their opponents. Well, the two hottest teams three weeks, four weeks ago, Calgary and Winnipeg have both lost two in a row, and Winnipeg reeling with injury. And those two teams meeting again tonight. And a deep freeze at McMahon after this one. We're closer to halftime here. Soli moving closer to field goal range for Kenny Allen. And Saunders out of bounds, stops the clock at 28. Still time for three or four plays. Take a shot at the end zone. A very efficient drive thus far. Engineered by Jeremiah Masoli in this Hamilton Tiger Cat offense. June Jones said yesterday that Jeremiah Masoli has really developed into the leader that he saw when he first came to Hamilton. Masoli again. Luke Tasker. <laughs> Jeremiah Masoli, the 12 0 lead. <laughs> Luke Tasker with a touchdown. And of course, a record setting night for Luke. Must have been in a death spiral this season. First and ten. Masoli pulls the trigger, gets it off to Green and Alex in Hawaii. And here's the other little coincidence between he and June Jones. He grew up about two blocks away from June Jones' house in Portland, Oregon. Yeah. And June Jones, of course, star college quarterback at Portland State in his day. But they meet in Hamilton. <laughs> Alex Green becomes a bit of a fixture in the late going. Masoli steps up, gets hit. It's like a completed pass for Mike Jones. That's his first catch and a first down. First down, Tiger Jones, a national player. Masoli stands in and takes a hit. John Bowman coming around the backside. The quarterback delivers that ball. And it off to Green. Cut back now. Alex Green striding inside the 30 yard line. This is his best carry of the night. A couple of nice cuts on this. And watch John Bowman from the right side of your screen. He's the backside guy. He's got to stay in contain. He can't crash down on the run because he respects the running ability of Jeremiah Masoli, that holds him out of position just enough. That delay allows Alex Green, after going left, to be able to cut back to his right without Bowman being there to make a play on him. First and 10 again. Slinging it, slant. That's part of the motivation at this stage in the season. Hopefully Brandon Banks has a chance to take a run at that thousand yard. Jalen Saunders, first down inside the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. And guess who's coming back? That's not holding him down. Brandon's coming back in here. Brandon Banks. A little bit like a genie in a bottle for the first half of the season. This great weapon waiting to be released, and that he was with the arrival of June Jones. Don't be surprised to see him get the football here in this play or the next. Masoli decides to hold it himself. The option out to Banks. Banks now scores. Touchdown. Do you draw that play up? <laughs> and if you do, how do you draw it up? That was one of the biggest option tosses I've ever seen. Well, and I want to want to take a look at the the path of this football and see. Was it an option toss, i.e. a lateral, or is this going to end up going down as a, a forward pass executed as a chest pass? Let's see where Masoli is when he tosses it. About the nine-yard line. Yeah, 
Rushing touchdown for Brandon Banks on the world's longest option. <laughs> Ever since June Jones arrived, Jeremiah Masoli look at end zone and says, well, hang on. Banks comes off the sideline to the so side. Now, usually on an option, you're trying to isolate one defender against two attackers. Usually, it's going to be this guy, the end man on the line of scrimmage, the defensive end. But here, it ends up being the cornerback He's, who's got to defend two guys. Do I take the quarterback? Do I take the wide receiver? Well, nobody ever anticipated <laughs> the option toss in that situation. But it's just a real wide version. <laughs> you crazy. Well, and Jeremiah Masoli. You have to call that the Masoli option or the Banks option, whatever it worked. And there's a second rushing touchdown, actually, for Banks this year. So, so now, after that, turnover. Masoli back at it from his 13 yard line. To the far side once more. Second down and four with four and a half to go in the third. Masoli again, loads of time, flips it out to Saunders. It's a sprint now. Jalen Saunders in stride. To the signage, there was nobody up there on an island. Jeremiah Masoli can count. The steamboats here had loads of time. His offensive line doing a terrific job here. Well, watch how Masoli doesn't panic, though, as the pocket closes in on him. I mean, he's not bailing out. He's not backpedaling. As he's pretty much got guys standing on his toes, he just kind of rises up and throws it over the crowd, finding Jalen Saunders out in the flat. That's kind of his personality, though, eh? Jeremiah Masoli, really cool guy. Never gets too high, never gets too low. Navigates that pocket. Back to toss again. There's Banks. It's a nice block that time from Bombin. Frees him up for a couple more yards after that catch. Jeremiah Masoli over his last six, a 500 record, but look at the touchdown to interception ratio. Well, you've always wondered in Jeremiah Masoli's career if someday he would be a starter. He's been given that opportunity. Been very, very productive. See the career high last week against Ottawa, 438 passing yards. Steve Jones said it to us yesterday. He gets a little better every week. That was a free play. Didn't go anywhere for Hamilton. They'll likely take the yardage here as Montreal jumped offside. And that yardage will give them a first down. Offside, Montreal number 99. It's five yard penalty. Makes it first down. By the way, Brandon Banks, one yard away from 1,000 on the season, receiving. And I towards the top of that defensive line. Alert twitch. Alex Green in the pistol formation right behind Masoli now stays in to block. Actually takes the ball this time. And two or three yards. For Alex Green. Winding it down, this crazy season in Hamilton and for the Montreal Alouettes. Both teams going through coaching changes, losing streaks. Non-playoff years. Masoli in a pump and go, and then somehow put that up for Tasker, who made the catch. Jeremiah Masoli should have been dead in the water. Somehow was able to do a little improv and just tossed it up an alley-oop pass for Tasker. Yeah, we've talked about Masoli's knack for this. Luke Tasker is lined up on the inside. Number three receiver. He's on the line of scrimmage. No waggle. See that lead on Brandon Dozier. You can see him leaning in to create that leverage. Get separation when he eventually makes that outcut. 103 receptions on the season for Luke Tasker. And the record continues. Here goes Alex Green. End zone bound. Touchdown bound. And lost. 10 straight. 
likely 11 tonight, barring some miracle comeback. And based on what we've seen so far, I don't think that's coming. Soli goes down here. By the way, Brandon Banks has been given another yard on a yard throughout this game. So he now has 1,000 yards All right. on the season. So the Thai Cats with 3,000 yard receivers this season. Tasker Saunders and Brandon Banks. And not making the playoffs. 5 and 12. Yeah, but you heard Jock climbing. Golf. You know, I mean, Jock didn't make the playoffs a lot early in his career. It's about the stats, it's all about <laughs> individual stats. Masoli. Great catch. Again for Brandon Banks. Well, I'm sure has so much to think about in this offseason about how things turned around for him. Here's a guy who faced some adversity in this season and turned it around. He is probably one guy who wishes the 2018 season started tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, remarkable, essentially. Ten games under June Jones. I mean, that's where he has put up over 950 of his yards. Junior Collins wrapped up, ripped down. By the way, 24 yards away now, Brandon Banks from making it six straight games with 100 yards receiving. Jeremiah Masoli just gets it done, doesn't he? Yeah, that, is, that has been his way. You know, a guy who was a very successful quarterback, obviously, in college. Terrific dual threat guy. 11 in a row, and we shouldn't be surprised at Jeremiah Masoli and his high completion percentage. Here's a guy who has the CFL record now for 23 in a row. And I think the biggest thing for, for Jeremiah Masoli has been finding that consistency. And uh, a lot of that has come with an extended opportunity to play, to, to actually operate as a starter as opposed to filling in for a few games at a time. Here in Hamilton in Tim Hortons Field. And the year where it's been tough to be a fan in both of these cities. And our Olivia Prime. Back in 2012. With Soli and Simone Lawrence traded together to this team. Who would have thought that package at that time, that deal, how it would have worked out. Third down and inches, and Masoli calls his number. Look out, Jeremiah Masoli could score. He is going to score. Touchdown. Fifty-nine yard run. Jeremiah Masoli. Not too often on third and inches do you line up in shotgun and then peel off like that. Well, you get in a certain situation where everybody's anticipating that it's going to be a play inside, just an inside run. For that short game, they have the play action. You get the defense to crash down and opens up the edges. Jeremiah Masoli shows Outruns. off his speed. May not be over yet. 33 nothing. Doing it every way now, and their quarterback with a little showtime himself, Jeremiah Masoli. Touchdown. All cats. John Bowman's final game, perhaps our Nissan Titan player of the game. A uh, guy who's been so good. And the reemergence of the Hamilton Tiger Cats continued. His terrific play tonight, over 300 yards. Again, 88 rushing yards, including the Tiger Cats' longest rushing play of the year, a 59-yard touchdown run. A short yardage situation. Quarterback Jeremiah Masoli is tonight's Nissan Titan player of the game.